Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only. Big day today. There's gonna to be a commercial coming out on Lucid, which I think is gonna drive a lot more attention to it. There are gonna be a lot more searches. I think people are gonna see it. Hundreds of millions of people around the world, I think, are end up gonna see this. And I think that's only good news for the possibility of seeing CCIV pop up a little bit more. And we're gonna get into how high I think that stock could go, as well as talk about SBE and NEO. This is the week that SBE merger completes. So stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. If you're new to the channel, I am Stock Mo. I'm an old financial advisor slash educator. I just retired from teaching. Now I do this YouTube. And for those that don't know, I do have another channel for those who would like to do their own YouTube channel. I have uh, one, I'm gonna put the link down below. You're gonna be able to come over there. I'm gonna show you my journey, show you how I got started, and just give you tips and tricks that I think could help you grow your own YouTube channel. So if you wanna be a part of that, take a look down below in the, in the description. Now, for the other things I have, hit the subscribe button. Be a part of this community. I'm gonna have a lot of great things coming out here. I'm gonna expand all kinds of great content moving over the next few months. It's gonna be good stuff. I do have a link down to Weeble. Take advantage of that. You get two free stocks worth up to $1,850 altogether, and you only gotta put in 100 bucks, and you can buy anything you want with that 100, and they'll give you two free stocks, which is good. I get one free stock because I'm an affiliate. That's how I support my channel. It really helps. And of course, if you wanna be a, a, a real good help to me, come over and click on the link down below to my Patreon. I have all my portfolios over there, tons of stocks. I'm always updating. It. I have great returns on them right now, and some of them I share here, but the, the main ones, the growth funds, my dividend ones, my value ones are all over there, and I always give a notification and a screenshot of my buying and selling when I do it so everybody can see what I'm doing. And I have a Discord with thousands of members, and it's all private, and you can be a member of that when you're a member of my Patreon. I do appreciate it. Now let's get into today's stuff. We have a lot of things to do, and I think there's a football game today, if I'm not wrong, and we'll see who's going to win that. I'm actually going to be uh, setting up, uh, getting the chips and dip ready all for that, for the kids and everything else, and maybe getting out there and getting a pizza. So I'm excited about today. So the first thing I want to talk about is the stock I'm going to buy on Monday. I'm excited because I put out five SPACs on Friday evening to see which one I would buy. I wasn't sure where to go, but I, because I'm learning about what everybody likes to do. If we look into the, the YouTube community, I do have this in here. You can see the votes are in 37,000 votes so far, and it is CCIV looks to be the stock I'll be adding. So hopefully that, no matter what, I'm gonna buy this, but hopefully I can get in pre-announcement. I hope there's no announcement today. I hope there's no surprise announcements before the market tomorrow. I wanna get in there because I do think there's gonna be an announcement, but I'm gonna be buying $4,000 more of this stock. I already have a very large position of it, but I'm going to be adding an additional 4,000 into the YouTube portfolio and jumping on that. I did do a video on all these in case you're curious. You can look back on the channel and see some of those. Taking a look at the YouTube portfolio, we are in need of a winner. We are down $191 since we got started. And for those that don't know, I put four grand in each stock. Every week I pick a new stock, or you pick a new stock. I put it in there, and we're gonna grow this up to be 52 stocks by the end of the year. The goal is to have this up to 250,000. That would be the ultimate goal. And we are going with the higher risk stocks, if you haven't noticed, so that's why I think that goal could be completed, depending on how we do. So tomorrow, I will be adding in CCIV, and we'll put that in there. If the merger goes through, I think that stock could possibly double. We will see. And the next thing is my penny stock portfolio. I do, I know a lot of people are following these. This is one of my smaller portfolios, just to tell you. So this is not the one I go out there and I put my, my retirement in and everything else. This is a lot of my side money that I, I'm trying to grow and to have fun with down the road. And so this is high risk money. This is money I thought if I lose, I don't wanna lose it, but if I lose it, I'll be fine. And so I decided to come up with a figure of about 4,000 per position with 15 positions overall. And that would be a, a number of comfortable with, especially with the highest risk penny stocks. These can go to zero at any time. I do have some, some of the stocks are over the counter, which are even more riskier. And, uh, and then of course I do have the ones that are still out there that give us some room. And so just beware when you watch this, watch this for entertainment only and just have fun with it. I do think these stocks all have their own way of moving higher. And I have talked about that in some of the videos. I'll be doing additional videos as we move forward, but we are doing well. We're up 18,000. My main goal is to get up to 40,000 by the end of the year. And I'm trying to do it with some of the 
I call micro cap stocks. Some of the stocks that are really low value in market cap that have a chance, they're new companies, they're, they have a really big chance of growing if they do it right. And you can see that like ABML, I've talked about them many a times. I love that company. I think they have a really good shot of growing and they're already doing well for us up 110%, but I think they have a lot more room. ALPP, Alpine, for technologies. I think there is talk of an uplisting into the NASDAQ, which personally I would take that as a huge sign uh, they could continue to do better. So there's a lot of things out there. And of course, at NDM, this is the ARC uh, position. I love that company, 3D Technologies. So there's a lot of things I have in this portfolio, but this is one of the higher risk I have. If you look at some of the other funds I have in my Patreon, I have the growth fund from 2020 and 2021, which they are doing fantastic and I'm loving how they are doing. Now the next stock I'm going to talk about is Churchill Capital. I like to say I, I can't wait to be able to tell you to say, hey, we're going to talk about Lucid right now. But right now it is not. There's no definite guarantees. There, right now this is high risk. I do want to point this out again, even though I'm buying it to, uh, on tomorrow. This is a very high risk play because if this doesn't happen, this goes back down probably roughly close to 10, maybe a little higher than 10, just because people would think there would be another deal down the road with some company. But to get back up to 35, I don't know if that would happen. But if it does go through with Luces, which I personally am hoping for, I think it will. I think all the, all the dots are starting to connect themselves and we'll see how that goes. It could be a couple of weeks from now. I do think it would announcement, yes or no, should happen before the end of February. But like I said, we'll have to wait and see. So the new Lucid commercial is coming out today as well. I think that's going to bring a lot of awareness to the brand. And thus, I think maybe some people out there will talk about it more. What stock is it? I think I want to buy that company. You're going to have a lot of EV commercials out there. I think we uh, there was the one with uh, Will Ferrell out there talking about Norway and the EVs. And let's not let them get ahead of us. And so just EV talk in general. You got Lucid doing the commercials. If you can't see why I've been so strong and bullish on this industry, why I think there's going to be billions to be made for investors over the next 10 years in this industry, if not further out, this is it. You're starting to see it. You're going to have a really good look at this when the big companies are starting to put millions into advertising. That's when you know the game's starting to change. It doesn't mean everything's going to change overnight, but if you're an investor, you want to get in early because anytime you have in industries such as clean energy, you got the EV industry, and there's all kinds of other industries that are changing. The gambling industry is changing. Uh, there's lots of them out there. You want to get in early into the companies that you think will lead that way. I do think that Lucid will have a piece of that niche. I do think that they're going to be in the mid to upper tier cars and that they will be able to transform that and they'll be competing with Tesla and a couple of other companies out there, but their cars look beautiful and I think the name has a lot of positive with it and hopefully that'll continue on. The merger goes through, everybody's happy with them and this happens, but I, you know, at the end of the day, we have to wait and be patient as investors and just see how this plays out. Today's gonna to be a good day though, and I do think that the stock should see some movement higher after the day with all the advertisements and everything else happening, and we'll see. The next thing though, a lot of people ask me about switchback and charge point. I thought there might be a mini run up on this as we move closer to February 11th. Great day, that was the day I was born. I gotta thank mom and dad out there. You know, it, that day is something else because that's the day the switchback turns into charge point and the merger goes through and we're good and we'll see how that goes. Now I'm curious because I thought there might be a little bit of a run up up into that day, but then some of the mergers we had before, it was during some down days though, but they did drop more than the market. So I'm gonna be watching this one because I think this company has the, the best chance of massive revenue growth over the next five to 10 years. And if this doesn't, if this starts to drop post merger, I'm gonna be holding, I'm not selling no matter what, this is a company I want to be a part of for the next five to 10 years. So this is one of my long terms, just like my Tesla, my Neo, and hopefully CCIV, we'll see. But when I talk about this one now, if it drops post merger, it kind of sets the bar for how these mergers are going to go through and how these SPACs are working and everything else. Because a lot of these, I'd say most of them had a little bit of red afterwards and then they kind of climbed back. Some of them had, uh, uh, there was a one or two of them that did pop nicely afterwards. So we're, I'm going to be watching. And if anything, like I said, join the channel. I'm always going to be bringing all my research back and tell you what I think and how we can play these moving forward to maximize our profits to give you some sell points, which I, I usually have a lot of the stocks I talk about are just holds, but you know what? If we're going to get massive amounts of gains 
Let's not be afraid to take some, maybe sell half the position, lock it in, move into a different portfolio, or move it into a different position, and then diversify our portfolio a little bit. But right now, I still like this. You can see it's been, you know, look at the volatility. And it's getting a littler and littler, and now it's kind of trading sideways, and it's almost stable, which is a good thing for traders. A lot of the people didn't want to be in or out, and those long-term holders such as myself are in. And at that point is when you start to see the growth normally for a longer-term bull run. And we'll have to wait and see how that goes on, because I think you're going to see a lot of bills down in D.C. It's going to push this stock higher. And, of course, NEO, if you look at NEO six months, and that's the other thing. Did I show you this? Look at this. 297% for those who have been following me. I love I love. I was gonna say charge point, but I love switchback. And I've been putting this out there for a long time. So if you've been along with me for over the six months, you're doing really well. And of course, Churchill, which I got in, in the teens, so I can't say I was in there since the beginning, but 245% up over the last month, over the last four weeks. And of course, my last one, this is one, I've, I've loved Neo for a very long time. I think the cars are awesome. I liked their technology. And just to get some extra exposure in the EV market outside of Tesla, Neo is my natural second one because China is one of the biggest countries for EVs, in case you're wondering, why do you pick Neo? Well, that market is one that I've always wanted to try to get an investment in, and Neo gives us that opportunity in the EV, and especially with Tesla. I thought Tesla would be the biggest one over there, but investing in what I thought would be the number two company is a solid investment too, because it gives you a little diversity in case there's something going on, and especially after the government gave them some money, I thought, boy, this is this is going to be a good investment because they're not going to let it fail, and it should continue to run higher. And we got rewarded with that over the six months. You can see up almost 300%. It's been a good run. And I'm happy with it. And I think it's going to continue on after the pandemic. We got to get through this pandemic. And I see these stocks rolling higher. I think this week could be a good week. I think there's going to be a lot of positive motions happening out there. I think you're going to get closer on the stimulus packages. And I think there's going to be a lot of run up here over. I thought second quarter on would be a great bull run. And I thought second quarter, third quarter, and possibly fourth quarter, you would see above normal average gains, which could lead to a 15 to 20% overall for the year gain. And that is my overall goal. That's why I have my leverage fund. I didn't do that just to have fun. I did that because I honestly think the market will be up 15 to 20% by the end of this year, starting the, the end of the first day of trading to the end of the last day. I thought we'd be up about 15 to 20%. So we will see if that happens. I, I feel like it will though. I, I think we're doing all right right now. So that's what I got for you. It's just a quick one. Just to give you an update where I'm at, looking what I'm looking for. I think CCIV should continue a little bit higher post commercials because we got that big commercial coming out today. I do see uh, the, a little bit of a run up, I'm hoping for SBE, we'll see. But if the market tanks for some reason, I don't, I don't see it tanking, but we did have five good days last week. So if it does tank a little bit, of course, I wouldn't expect it to go higher. CCIV, different story though. You don't know because any positive piece of news for that, that thing could jump up to $50, $60 a share like that. And then the last one, NEO. NEO is just kind of sideways. You can see this up and it had the same thing. I remember everybody saying, hey, it's not going to do it. Then it popped up again and now it's doing the same thing. So I give this another, because uh, they had good numbers. I see NEO continuing to do well. They're doing what they need to do. We'll just have to wait and see how the NEO uh, stock does moving forward. The NEO stock price to me has been great. The CCIV stock price has been great. And so has the SBE stock price. We got the merger coming up with that. Lots of good things to look forward to this week. So thanks for stopping out. Like I said, take a look at that other channel if you ever wanted to do a YouTube channel. I, I'll try to help you. I got that teacher hat on. I miss my classroom. I miss helping people in that way. So I wanted to make that other channel and just have fun teach, helping people out there, YouTubers. I'll do something out here. Maybe, um, figure out ways we can all help each other as a community because that's the overall goal. Uh, you know what? We all want to have our own channel, get a little bit of extra side gig, if you will, maybe become the main gig like I was fortunate enough to do. And I want to help you with the steps I messed up on that I wish somebody would have been there to tell me uh, when people start offering you things and this and that and your, your head's spinning, I want to be there to be the voice of reason to tell you not to make some of the mistakes I made and just to to be that that mentor if I can if you want me to be there. So I'll answer all the questions over there if you want. And of course, get those two free stocks from Weeble. You know, making a chance, of, it's like scratching a lottery ticket. You can get up to $1,850. You just don't know what you're going to get, but you're going to have an opportunity to get that guaranteed uh, a couple of free stocks there and come over and join me at the Patreon. I greatly appreciate that. That is awesome. If you want to come over and support me that way, I got all my portfolios and of course the private discord. Thanks for st sticking around. Let's go out there and watch that game and let's get out there and make some money.